Welcome to my dramatically lit studio area where I'm going to unbox this Up a Baby Mesa and Up a Baby Vista stroller and car seat. Baby coming in a month and a half. Five weeks. Five weeks. And I, I held off unboxing this until we got to the new place because I did want to make a video. I don't actually know how any of this stuff works, so I just want to take it apart and figure it out and try to insert it into some cars because we do car reviews. Not me and my wife, me and my buddy. Uh, and we. Uh, we drive a whole bunch of different stuff, so I'm not sure how well this will fit. I know car seats seem to be confusing, so I'm just going to unbox it, figure it out, and then I'll go over all the features. But first, the reason that we got this one was because my wife wanted a travel system so that the stroller and the car seat, the car seat can attach into the stroller. And then this also does have a bassinet, which apparently is safer for babies to fall asleep in on longer walks instead of falling asleep in a regular stroller. It is expandable, so if we have more than one kid, which we would like to do, we can expand with this setup already. It was available where we were shopping for all our baby stuff, which is Snuggle Bugs, and that's also where we did our registry, so that was convenient. And then lastly, this has a very high safety rating, and this car seat is made without chemicals and is still fire resistant or fire retardant. Uh, I'll correct myself right here. So part of the reason we picked this one was because Hey Shayla, a YouTube channel that my wife and I watch for baby stuff, she made a list of car seats that were fire resistant and naturally sourced materials. So this is merino wool. I know I've been in some BMWs that have merino leather. I don't know the relation. So that was part of the reason here, less chemicals. And then we also watch Brittany Balin's channel. That's got a lot of baby stuff on it, but I don't, I think it had some stuff with this. And price-wise, these are a little pricier. This one, the baby seat, the car seat was $514 Canadian. And then the stroller setup with the bassinet was $1350 Canadian. But we figured we would splurge on this one big item because it's probably pretty important to have a car seat, especially with all the cars we test on our straight pipes channel. Not my wife and I straight pipes channel, my work wife, Jacob. And he also got the same setup. So I'm, I guess we'll compare that in a lot of cars in the future. I think it's all one piece. Oh. Ooh, cute. Okay, so it's all in one piece. Carefully cut all this stuff off. So first things I'm noticing, we have a three-point baby harness, which is pretty cool. Little UV shade that works pretty easily. This is to, I guess, swivel this around. I'm not sure what this button does, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. We've got all our warnings on one side in English, the other side in French. And then we've got this little level here that says when there's no red visible, it's flat and or level. And when there is red visible, it is not level. So that's pretty cool, pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to read over the instructions and figure out all the other cool stuff, see how to detach it from this base, which I'm going to have to install in cars. And then I can put this car seat on this Vista stroller. Okay, there's even more. Was this to change the angle? This is rear facing only. We got these little seat belts. Wow, this is so confusing. I'm definitely gonna need to watch a video to install this. And there's a website for a video to install this. Mm. Refer, refer to instruction book. Their video is really good on their websites. Okay, they've got an adapter for if it's a lap belt only. That's pretty cool. Oh, so you can actually use this without a base if you need to a certain way. I mean, it's probably not advised, but it's Locking clip. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff on here. Oh, okay, check this out. Oh, why does it move? Leveling. Yeah, but it doesn't lock in. Pool noodle can be used if you can't get the proper level or a rolled towel. There's a button here to pull that out and it's auto tightening so that uh, less chance you're gonna screw up. And a lot of cars now have these little baby seat hook receivers in the back seat so you can just clip that in and they're exposed so that should make it very easy to install in most cars i'm actually so excited to test this out in a car and without the base very lightweight but I'm, i assume you add 
10 pounds up to 50 pounds after and that'll be the baby's weight so i'm sure this thing will get kind of heavy but so far so good materials nice doesn't smell toxic or anything and i guess that was kind of the whole point and hopefully this blue which is gregory blue matches this merino henry blue or is that henry blue henry blue is that gregory that's gregory and that's henry then that's henry So for once, I will actually fill out the warranty because this is a big deal and not just some dumb electronics. So I think that that's pretty important. It shows that I'm becoming an adult. Now time to open up the Vista Baby Stroller, which is way more expensive than I remember it being when we got it like three months ago, but I got a good feeling about this. And this is the Upper Baby Vista or Vista V2. I forget why we got it over the V1, but I think it had something to do with the bassinet. If I remember, I'll add that to the video. I think it, had the, I think it, it had the option for two bebes. I had the option. I had the option for two bebes and one standing. Okay, nice box. We've got um, Vista V2 and a nice little instruction manual. So we'll check that out and see what it tells us to do. Lots of boxes around the center bag. Maybe I'll show you guys. Hopefully it doesn't all fall out. Oh, this is a bad idea. I should have just done it the other way. I've already committed. in a nice little bag and then there's a second part <clears throat> okay the bottom part I guess I need to install the wheels myself very easy instructions to follow. My favorite, great diagrams are the best. And the full instructions. First thing is undo this part. Oh, this is the bassinet. I don't need this yet. Remove the cardboard and the packaging. Nobody wants to see me undo packaging and say, I am undoing packaging. That's like in car reviews when someone's like, and hitting the brakes down, shifting and turning in. It's like, yeah, I know you're hitting the brakes down, shifting and turning in. I'm really good at X-Acto knives. I've only barely cut my thumb off once. That is some higher than automotive quality leather, or it might be fake leather or synthetic or something, but it feels nice and it looks cool. Look at that stitching. That's Mercedes BMW quality right there. I don't know about Rolls Royce, but pretty, pretty good. Now Rolls Royce would be better because it would be hand stitched and slightly imperfect. Okay, quick release tab and that. Oh, wow. That is a nice mechanism. I was very impressed by that. Let's get the wheels out and click them in. Wait, wrong wheels. I need the front wheels. Okay, install the front wheels. Pretty straightforward, you click them right in. And then if I wanted to remove the front wheels to store it in a smaller way, can I push this button? No, that doesn't do that. I don't know what this button's for. Unless it's a two-part button. Yep, two part button, down, and it comes right off. So that's super nice, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Big wheels in the back, just click them down. So to add the back wheels, you just need to push in on the center cap 
and there you go. So install so far so so good. Um, I think there's one more bag, but I'm not sure what's in here. This might just be a UV cover or something. Uh, step five, throw on the baby seat. So we have this nice bag. I don't know if it's for traveling or not. And here is our baby seat slash bassinet in one, I think. Oh, no, the bassinet's below it. Nice. So we just click this down. Oh, that's probably the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, everything's pretty straightforward. You pretty much just click the center button and everything pops out. This is a seat. I feel like these blues match well enough. And there is supposed to be a handle that comes around for the baby. I guess it has a handle that keeps it in place. Where is that handle? Probably in this last box that I haven't opened yet. And lastly, we've got our baby handle also in saddle leather. Uh, pull these things off. I really like how easy everything clicks in and will unclick. It's very, very intuitive. Especially getting out of a lot of cars, there's a lot of stuff that's not intuitive. Everything here is super intuitive. And my wife requested that I put it on backwards. So let's see if I can do that. Let me just push in, push down, and wow. Up a baby, you guys need to start making some cars and car parts because this is very nice. How do I angle it back though? Probably by pushing down. No. Oh, with this button. So clever. This is really cool. I'm stoked that we've got one that has so many little gadgets on it. Okay, what's next? The bassinet. Okay, before the bassinet, let's try this car seat. See if that'll click right in. I think this is the whole reason we got it. Let's see. Great, little wobbly. Maybe I didn't put it in all the way? No, it's in all the way. You think it's supposed to be that wobbly? That is really wobbly. Maybe not while you're rolling it, but yeah, no, I feel like, I feel like that's not good for babies. Uh-oh, I don't know how to get this one out. Oh, that's what this top button is for, removing it from this. See if it's still wobbly if I put it in this way. Still wobbly, maybe it's not down all the way. I don't like that. I'm doing something wrong, I'll figure it out. But that doesn't feel good. Was this wobbly? It was a little wobbly. Maybe they're just supposed to be wobbly. I feel like baby seats shouldn't be wobbly, but maybe, maybe they're just wobbly. Okay, lastly, the bassinet. Is there any trick to it? No. I should, I should remove this cardboard.
Yeah, even the bassinet's a little bit jiggly. But maybe it's a kind of jiggliness that doesn't matter when you're actually walking. Oh, look. It's a, a nice bassinet stroller. And how do I unlock the wheels? Oh, wow. One kick down and it flips from green to red. So that's super nice. And then if I push this button, that should extend the handle. Nice. The master should have a firm connection so that it cannot be released if you lift up the handle, but should have a front to back rocking motion when attached. Well, it definitely has a front to back rocking motion. So then I also have a bug net and a second bug net. And then in one more bag, we also have a rain cover. I think all we need to do now is get a UV cover for the car seat and install it into the car and see how easy it is on a 2010 Volkswagen GTI, a 2007 Honda Element. I have a Subaru Impreza, brand new one right now as well. And I will also try to mount it into a Plymouth Prowler, but I don't think you're supposed to reverse mount in two seaters, but you're also not supposed to take babies in two seaters. So I'd never actually use it, but I'd be interested to see if it does fit.